Hi guys. Um, I just want to go over the converse that we talked about yesterday in class. So I'm just going to do um, a quick example of each and just review this, this concept with you. Um, you should be doing this through a play posit. Uh, so you are going to get questions asked along the way. Um, so please make sure you're filling out those responses as you go through. Okay. Um, so so I'm, I'm not even playing this full thing's work. I just want to show some example problems. Um, all right. So with the converse, we are looking to see um, if a squared plus b squared does it equal c squared. Because um, if that is true, then it is going to be a right triangle. All right. Um, and if it's not right, then what is it instead? So let's take a look. Um, remember, we're always making our longest side C. So I'm looking to see, all right, 14 squared plus 48 squared. Does that equal 50 squared? Um, in this example, this gets us to 196 plus 2,304. 2, does that make 2,500? When we add these two together, it does make 2,500. So we find out that yes, that is a right triangle because 2,500 is equal to 2,500. So if C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared, then it is a right triangle, okay? Um, let's look at example two real quick. Uh, again, I'm gonna throw this in and see, does this actually work, okay? Um, so we get that this one is 196 plus 256 and seeing if that equals to 729. When we add these two together, see I'm kind of cheating on my little cheat sheet over here. We get 452, which is less than 729, okay? Um, so in this one, okay, um, in doing it, we found that C squared is greater than A squared plus B squared. And, and that means it would be obtuse, okay? So if C squared is greater than A squared plus B squared, it is an obtuse triangle, which means it really looks like this, okay? That length of C is gonna have to get stretched pretty far to make up for the fact that A and B are shorter. Uh, example three here, seven squared plus eight squared, is that equal to nine squared? 49 plus 64, is that equal to 81? Well, these two added together make 113, which is greater than 81. So then that would be acute. And I can't spell acute. Apparently I'm like, something is not going right with that word. Um, so if C squared is less than A squared plus B squared, it is an acute triangle where all the angles are um, less than uh, 90 degrees. Last thing I wanna show, I'm not gonna like fully do this example um, cause you see an example of all the others, but I just wanna remind you guys, if we have something like this, if you see um, this, that is referencing, it is the square root of six. Um, you do need, you know, your numbers are not always gonna be in order. So you do need to approximate this or just like think you know, what whole number is it going to be between? You don't need to approximate to a 10th or anything of that sort, but you just need to see this and think like, all right, the square root of six, that's going to be between the square root of four and the square root of nine. So it's going to be somewhere between two and three. So when I'm looking at these numbers here, okay, I would realize that um, the square root of six is actually going to be my C in this case, okay? I would actually have to do this as 1.8 squared plus 0.8 squared is equal to 
the square root of six squared, okay? I can't see that as a six. I need to see that as a square root six. And then follow up when you are taking this guy and you are squaring it, okay? You need to realize if I take the square root of six and I square it, these cancel out and then I'm just left with six, okay? So the square root of six squared is equal to six, okay? So please remember that um, as you go through today's lesson.